God bless this family killed in a head-on car crash on December 26, 2023, near Dallas, Texas. God bless this family and friends. A man is fighting for his life after a crash outside of Dallas on Tuesday killed six of his family members. It's a heartbreaking story, and that family was in Texas visiting relatives for the holidays. But like Bebeth Yates joins us live from Alpharetta tonight, and Bebeth, you're hearing from those closest to these victims. That's exactly right. Lokesh Potabato has called Alpharetta home and he's currently in critical condition in Texas. Now we spoke to his relatives who say they are still in disbelief that six of their family members died in that crash Tuesday. And a few of them are ready to be released. So, so we are hoping everything to be done uh, by this Saturday. Ashok Kola with Telugu Association of North America says they've been coordinating with funeral homes, airlines, and multiple consulates to ensure the bodies of those killed in the Texas crash return to their home country of India. The one family, they lost five members. It's like, uh, I don't even know what to say on that. Alpharetta resident Lokesh Portabatala is currently fighting for his life in a Texas hospital. But sadly, the crash claimed the life of his wife, their two children, and his in-laws visiting from India. His cousin, Rashil Bari, who was driving the Honda minivan, was also killed. A uh, 2014 uh, Chevrolet pickup truck uh, swerved into oncoming traffic and uh, struck the Honda Odyssey head-on. Uh, we're still uncertain why. William Lockridge with the Texas Department of Public Safety says a 17-year-old was driving that pickup when it veered into the northbound lanes in a no-passing zone, colliding with the family's minivan. And family members say witnesses described the gruesome scene. One of the uh, eyewitness over there took the phone of uh, Lokesh and she picked and she told that the accident was very bad, few were dead, and the owner of this phone is still breathing. Now again, Lokesh is in critical condition. We're told he has a broken arm, broken ankles, also injuries to his neck and spine, which may result in him not walking again. And if that's not enough, he's also, we're told, lost his sight. Of course, we're going to continue to follow the story and bring you updates. May God bless this family of six killed in a head-on collision car crash again god bless the family and friends damn thanks for watching we appreciate you please please subscribe